Okay, so um, who here likes chess? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So there's a thing called, uh, who knows what peer pad is? You guys have seen peer pad? Also, sorry for my colors. Let me, uh, ooh, peer pad. No, that's the wrong. All right, so peer pad, you, we saw some of that uh, earlier. Uh, this spawned a thing called PeerStar. And PeerStar is a project uh, they ha we have going on to make it easier to build real-time collaborative apps like PeerPad uh, on top of IPFS. And so here, you know, there's a whole you know, library to make this easy for you and it uses CRDTs. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and so I wanted to learn how to use PeerStar app uh, to make a simple app. And there's a workshop to do app uh, that you, know, you make the traditional to do uh, thing. Uh, raise your hand if you've seen like a to do's app example. <laughs> Great. I do not need to explain what that is. So, so this is just walks through how to replace the standard stuff with um, with uh, PeerStar app. So it gives you um, it teaches you how to use PeerStar app. So I use that to. I've been wanting to play chess uh, peer to peer. Uh, so I made. So this is. Thing called the workshopper thing is on the left. Let me close that. And so this is my app. I have some chess.js that is gonna, it's a library that I found uh, that's gonna figure out all the moves. I have a chessboard uh, thing, chessboard.js, which handles all of the drawing, Whoop, whoops, and so on. So this handles all the drawing. And what was left for me was actually just this single uh, thing, 120 lines of code to make a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, chess app. Most of it is logging, too, to like know what, what I was doing. <laughs> and a bunch of it is commented out. Uh, oh, I should also say, I made this whole thing. Uh, when I got into this meetup, I had th this file open, and I had just understood how to use uh, PeerStar app. And so I made the whole thing while we were chatting. Uh, oh. So. I got it all like <laughs> working. So it's probably not robust, but we'll, we'll find out. I mean, it's meetup, right? Yeah. So, um, so if I serve here, and it's going to open this thing. And so I'm going to open uh, my console. And you see that it is listening on some stuff. And I'm going to add a specific game ID. Let's say. London meetup two. Hey, no, don't go there. <laughs> you, you probably can't even see see this one. And let's go to London meetup two over here in an incognito window. Hey, what up? Yeah, why is it like not loading? That's Python. Come on, Python. You can do it. That's weird. Hey, go away. All right, refresh, refresh. Uh, that was exciting. All right, so I think they're connected. It doesn't tell me they're connected, but uh, let's try it out. It's not in the room. Ah, yeah, you're right. London, <laughs> London meetup. <laughs> Two. Let's give them a moment to connect. Will it blend? Uh, I'm going to refresh. No, oh, come on. Yeah, so this should. There we go. All right, great. So now I can move over here. I can move over here. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong, wrong screen. So it's not secure chess yet. Uh, so, so the next step would be to actually check which side you're on uh, and then by, like, not allow any moves uh, that the other side can do. But yeah, so you, know, you can do a total, totally peer-to-peer -to -peer, uh, chess app. So now I'm going to show you how that was done. So, um, First of all, the index.html page looks pretty simple. I include some dependencies. I don't know. This was all from other groups. 
uh, and my build.js, which is just a browserified app.js. And uh, the entry point is on DOM ready and just creates this pure chess app. We go up here. Um, the, the magic is here. I create a game. This is the logic of the game. This is the board. So this is the this is going to listen, do all the listening and drawing. Uh, and then I set up pure app. So this is the, the actual peer-to-peer -peer magic. Um, I create an app uh, and I give it an app name. So that's where the location, uh, that's where the name, name of the room, uh, that's where this is causing you know, different sets of, of peers to, to work in. Uh, and then I set up a handler for every time the, um, the state changes. And in that handler, uh, uh, I do a bunch of logging. <laughs> And uh, here is where I, I just figure out what's in that array. Uh, this is super jank. You, you probably would want to do something, something smarter here. But um, this works. Uh, I check whatever is in this array that is growing. Um, oh, this, <laughs> this safety here was there because for some reason, while I was testing, something wasn't growing right. And so it was infinite looping. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then make move uh, causes, you know, registers the move in the game. If it, that was a valid move, this is kind of how that API works. It, it'll return the move if it, it was valid. And then in that case, you update the board and you send it to your peers. Uh, and the other side would receive it, call the unstate changed um, thing, which uh, that, that's where it came from. Oh, yeah. And make move is also called from when you drop it. So if you drop the, this, this handler is called when the piece is dropped in the board, uh, and it calls make move. And yeah. Wait, did you move a bunch of stuff? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you troll? So, yeah, this is like not secure chess at all. <laughs> so I went to make the plug for it works in mobile. So I was actually doing all That's pretty awesome. on my browser and my yeah. phone. And, so. and, and it's safe state. Check it out. I'm going to refresh. Yeah, like that. So. Um, Hey, stop it. <laughs> uh, so maybe in the future, I will, I will make this into a secure chess app. Uh, yeah. Like tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, great, thank you. Uh, all, all, all the credit goes to Pedro and the JSIPFS team who have made all of this happen. So it's pretty awesome. Thank you.